Shalom. Before I begin this video, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Rechak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. They continue to rule very well to this very day. That is um, also likewise feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai. And also Shalom to the whole elect. And so I continually labor in this work as well. That's all showing forth your faith by continually giving all your diligence in this work to make your calling and election sure and faith in truth and sincerity and all charity. Now, um, the topic of this video, I believe I'm going to entitle it as a uh, tyrant day. Okay. Also known as uh, uh, Christopher Columbus Day. You know, which uh, that's today. And of course, you know, uh, you have uh, businesses that are in observance of this day. And really, you know, this is just showing uh, the pride of these Edomites in which, if you don't know, Edom or the Edomites, uh, that's the true biblical nationality of uh, the so-called white man. Okay. In which um, they they hold this day in uh, high esteem, okay. You know this is uh, a time that they observe. You know Christopher Columbus and his uh, so-called discovery to uh, the so-called New World. In which, uh, if you really go into the history of it, in which they you know they don't really go into because really this is a, a day in history in which, uh, or this is a time in history where. Esau's horns has been shown all right and not just in general but uh towards uh the tribes or a few of the tribes of uh the nation of Israel okay which consists of uh you so-called Negroes Hispanics and you Native Americans in which in this this case you know the uh, so-called Native American Indians and um were uh, a part or they were here in this land and they're still here to this very day in this land but you know they were the ones that were here before Christopher Columbus in which his true name really um, is uh, Christo Cristobal Cologne um, they were already here before he even made it here all right before he even say he discovered this land all right you know you already had uh, the natives that were here and they were living uh, peacefully but when this man came over to this land, which is known as America, all right, which was named after an Edomite as well, all right, in which uh, his name is uh, Mirago Vespucci, he's done nothing but rape, rob, and murder ever since he was here, okay? That's why I put up the uh, thumbnail or the, um, the picture of uh, Christopher Columbus or Cristobal Colon on a wanted poster, all right, because he is a wanted. He, <laughs> if he was here today, then you know he he would uh be found guilty of these crimes. But guess what? Even if he was still here to this very day, and if he was living, guess what? He would still get a pass. All right. Why? Because he's uh again he's held in high esteem. Because this is the reason why uh, Esau. You know, one of the reasons why uh, Esau or Edom is is uh, residing here in this land today man all right oops uh, because um you know when they uh discovered discovered this land you know after that and after that it came up uh, a, a downward spiral all right so um in other words you know when when that took place then you know you th this this is what uh, the outcome is right now okay because now you have uh this uh na nation of people right that's uh basically telling telling you know uh hispanics and also telling uh you know e even even uh the so-called negroes man they, they're telling them to go back go back to their own land all right uh meanwhile here here it is you know this 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 um this man came over and um, basically just, just uh, robbed this land. Okay? You know, ro robbed this land, uh, 
a, and cause a displacement of, of uh, the, the so-called natives. And um, also ushered in the enslavement of uh, the nation of Israel, starting with the, 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 the northern tribes, or your so-called uh, Native American Indians and the so-called Hispanics. Okay. And like I mentioned, man, you know, and they have the nerve to, to tell you to go back to your own land. All right. Especially when they when they uh, talk down on the um, so-called Hispanics, man. All right. You you Issacharites and you um, Ephraimites and you Manassite, you know, so-called uh, uh, so-called Mexicans, so-called Puerto Ricans. Uh, so-called Cubans, so-called Dominicans, they tell you to go back to your own land, but here it is, this man, is this, this land doesn't even belong to him, all right? But the reason why he has this land, right, is uh, due to prophecy, okay? Because he has a role to play, and he's playing it out today, okay? And this is how it started, all right? And, and, and mind you, this was during the time of uh, the, the Renaissance era, okay? Which Renaissance... If you look at the word renaissance, it means uh, uh, rebirth, okay? Rebirth of what? The rebirth of uh, Esau or Edom and his rulership. And that's also uh, prophecy, okay? But I'm not going to go too much on the intro. I'm going to go ahead and I'll jump right into the precepts. And um, I may get the, uh, I believe I'll get the prophecy concerning that about um the renaissance era the rebirth of uh edom's rulership all right there's a book of nahum chapter 3 verse 1 it says woe to the bloody city and why is this city is uh why, why is this known as a bloody city okay and really it's talking about uh babylon the great which is uh, known as america okay so why is this uh place known as the bloody city okay the reason why this place is known as uh, the Bloody City is because of uh, the complete destruction and murder and almost genocide of the nation of Israel. OK, even to this very day, as I'm speaking today in the year of 2020, they're still in the, uh, the mode and under the agenda of committing genocide of the nation of Israel. Why? Because they know that we have the birthright. Okay? And then they send out agents like uh, Vocab Malone and um, also uh, others as well. You know, other agents that come against what, what we teach, uh, the doctrine of Yahweh Bashem Yal Shai, which is the doctrine of the Bible. And they say that we're not the people of the Lord. Okay? Uh, further placing us in derision. Okay, so again, it says, Woe to the bloody city, it is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not, right? And we, we can't, we, we're unable to, to depart from this place, all right? And we're the prey, okay, to these Edomites, and we, we're unable to depart. That's why we need a savior, which is who Yahweh Shai, who these people inwardly call Jesus, which is uh, described in the scriptures as a so called uh, Negro, all right. When you go into the, the image and depiction of our Lord Yahweh Shai, he's depicted as a so-called Negro. He came out of the tribe of Judah, which are also uh, <clears throat> are depicted as so-called Negroes. Okay. So if Yahweh Shai was here today, you know, he would be considered a so-called black man, a so-called Negro. Okay. Um, verse 2, it says, The noise of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels of the prancing horses and of the jumping chariots. <clears throat> so I'll move on from there. Uh, there's another scripture I want to grab. Alright, it's the book of Numbers, chapter 35, verse 33. All right. It says, so ye shall not pollute the land wherein you are. And these Edomites have greatly polluted this land with blood. That's why in Nahum, chapter 3, this is known as the bloody city. Okay? So again, Numbers chapter 35, verse 33. It says, so ye shall not pollute the land wherein you are. For blood, it defiled the land. 
and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Okay, so <clears throat> this land cannot be cleansed at all unless the person that have shed that same blood on the land, which is here in America, his blood also must be shed. Okay, and that's judgment, and that's and that's fulfillment of the law. Okay. Like it says in the law, it says eye for eye, arm for an arm, ear for ear, tooth for tooth, and also blood for blood. Okay? That's 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 justice, man. Okay. But uh <clears throat> let me go ahead and grab the uh precept I mentioned earlier. Alright, so uh, the book of Revelation chapter 20 and verse uh one. It says, and I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bombless pit and the great chain in his hand. And that bombless pit represents uh, the region in Europe, which was uh, devoid of any sort of resources. All right. That's why it was known as uh, the Dark Ages, in which the Dark Ages, you know, the reason why they give it a Dark Ages is because they say that, you know, it's not enough historical facts to... Uh, you know, it's not enough historical facts to, uh, you know, uh, to... to know exactly what was going on or who was there during that time. No, man. The reason why they call it the Dark Ages is because that was during the time that where, where we were ruling. Okay? Uh, we were ruling for a period of a thousand years. Okay? And it's going to explain that. Right? Verse 2 says, And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. Alright? And this was after the fall of uh, the Roman Empire. Okay? Because during the time of the Roman Empire, you had uh, Esau, Edom, that was in rulership. And then the rulership transferred over to the Israelites. That's why you had uh, rulers. I, I'm, I'm trying to remember the names. I know. Um, you see, Constantine was uh, one of the ones, but it was the one before him that was in rulership. And I believe it was a period during that time after the pagan Roman Empire that it was known as... Uh, at the time of uh, the good Caesars and they were all Jakes okay and there was another one that I don't remember the name of um, there was also a Jake that he was a Caesar okay so and I may <clears throat> may have my timelines mixed up but you know the, the point is is that after the time of the pagan Roman Empire you had uh, Jake that was there or Israel that was ruling all right the, the, the southern kingdom tribes okay and up to the time of uh, from 13th century all the way up to the 14th century if I'm not mistaken uh, that's when you had the renaissance era that took place okay that's the, that's the time of a thousand years alright verse 4 it says and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled and after that he must be loosed a little season right and we're in that little season all right, we're in that uh, little season for um, this man to be in rulership, okay? And that started with what? The Renaissance era with a man by the name of Christopher Columbus, okay? So after those thousand years of rulership, he came back into power, all right? Christopher Columbus, like like you see here, let me show you again, wanted for these crimes that you see on the, on the thumbnail, right? You can see at the beginning of the video too, and it's what he's guilty of, okay? Read all of this, and, and now you see the man that you're dealing with, okay? And Lord's will, you know, this is also serves as a edifying lesson and video to the ones that not in the know as of yet, the new the new people that are, may have stumbled upon this video. Hey, let this be a warning, man. This is, this is the man that you're dealing with, and this is his nature, okay? And his wickedness is being revealed. This is shameful spewing on his glory, pursuant to uh, the book of Habakkuk. All right. But uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and close out on that note. Uh, Lord's will is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shemuel Shai, by Shemuel Kakodash? Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone at Ruel, and also Shalom. Peace and safety and salutations to the whole elect that's laboring and listening and uh, being edified as well. And uh, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.